And there's a big difference between those who are out there who let things happen and those who make things happen. All right. Now, Paul, just in case we messed up, I had an extra $100 bill in my pocket. You know what's amazing? It's amazing. You walk out of the lobby somewhere out there and you see a $100 bill laying on the floor. $100 bill. No one's around. Who'd pick it up? Honestly, who'd pick it up? Ten of you. Really? Really? Seriously? You were out too late. Who'd pick up? It's a hundred bucks. It's amazing. But the difference is who wants the hundred dollars? Well, no, cool. Who wants it? Good, good, good. It's a hundred bucks, but who wants it? Who does? <laughs> she had her shoes off and everything. She was cranking up that aisle. I have to admit, I was pulling for you. I don't know who you are, but... Isn't it amazing the simple differences in those people who, yeah, I want it, and the people who get off their butt and do something about it? It's fascinating. You hear the term all the time, well, you know, you've got to think outside, and it doesn't work anymore. Not that the model is flawed. It's a 1970s management term that's overused. It's abused. But we've got so many people out there who claim to be thinking outside of the box. And so few people who really do anything about it. And it's the people, the organizations, the teams, the owners, the partnerships that not only think outside but continue to be innovative and physically take that risk and step outside the box, get off their butts, run down the aisle with no shoes, who make things happen. 